Hey, what's up everybody? It's Taylor y'all and welcome back to another vlog. So today's video is going to be me decorating for fall. Finally, I am ready to get this done. Normally I do my fall decorating probably the first weekend in September and I'm, I'm late, basically I'm late. Normally I do this a lot sooner I think I've just been a little bit overwhelmed lately um, with the new schedule with the kids going back to school and now I'm doing YouTube and last year I wasn't doing YouTube at this time. So yeah, I'm excited to decorate. I have watched a lot of people's decorating videos and honestly, a lot of y'all do such a good job. I'm nervous to even decorate y'all because I feel like I'm extremely indecisive and I move things around a lot and I'll like it one day and then the next day I want to move it. So anyways, I'm going to hope for the best and try my best and hopefully you guys like my decorating. <laughs> and as you can see, I made me an iced coffee today. It's been a while. You want to say hi? Yeah. Hi. Say hi. Hi. All right, so we need to jump right in because... It is past 10 o'clock. Lord knows how long it's gonna take me to decorate. I don't decorate my whole house. I don't decorate every room of the house. My main focuses are the front, like door and entryway. I do the kitchen, I do the living room, I do the boys' bathroom because we only have two bathrooms in this house. And that bathroom is the guest bathroom as much as it is the boys' bathroom. So I do decorate that one. Uh, and that's it. So that's basically what you're going to see today. Me hopping around to those little spots. And also everything that I've gotten um, is over a five year span. This year in November will be our five years in this house. So in a matter of five years, I've collected little things here and there. It's not a lot of stuff. I wish I had more. I thought I had more. But at the same time, um, I'm happy with what I have and I'm excited to decorate. I did get a few new things this year and as I'm going through the table and showing you things, I'll let you know what's new and about where I found things. Um, I don't know how much things cost for the most part, um, but I'm excited to show y'all. So now let's get to it. Alrighty y'all, so here's a quick view of the table. We're gonna start right over here. So first off, this wreath. I got this from Aldi last year and I love the colors on it. I love the greens and the white pumpkins. I love that these pine cones have like a little bit of snow on them and it says grateful. Um, I just really like it. I don't remember how much this was though. I will say that it is pretty cheaply made so I have to be extremely careful with it when I'm <clears throat> like packaging it away and stuff. But anyways, I do love that. Right here on the floor. I have this doormat. I want to say I got this from Lowe's last year, but honestly, I cannot remember. But as you can see, it says happy fall, y'all. And y'all is all what my channel is about, y'all. And you already know that. And uh, also, I love anything with trucks that catches my eye every time. So this was a big, I had to get this for me. All right, now back at the table. As you can see in the back, we have some pumpkins. This pumpkin I bought from Lowe's last year. Um, it's extremely heavy. Uh, I believe it's like ceramic or I don't know what kind of material that is, but it's just a white pumpkin. I like to put that out at the front door. This one right here, um, Billy carved last year. It is just a like one of those, I don't know what material that is either. <laughs> But anyways, uh, that is our Houston Astros logo. We are all about Astros and sports in this house. Astros is a baseball team here uh, in Houston. So um, he carved that and what we like to do is put some like little tea lights in there and let that be cool. I also put that outside by the door. Uh, also in the back here, I have a pumpkin. My sister-in-law actually did that for me probably about two years ago. And as you can see on there, it has the name Rodriguez, and that is because that is our last name. Um, I'm sure nobody knew that, but my last name is Rodriguez. 
All right, so next I have some like branches and florals here. These five right here are new. I got two of these, one purple and two of these like dark green. And I love these because they're not shiny. They're just like a matte leaf. I don't know, I really liked it. I've had these for a while. I think I got them at Hobby Lobby or something like that. Just some simple things, um, simple little florals. I have two leaf garlands here. Uh, it has a little bit of glitter in them. And this I did get from Hobby Lobby. Uh, this goes in the kitchen. That's just a like drying dish mat thing. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. I got it last year. That's from Hobby Lobby, of course. And again, with the trucks, I absolutely love it. This is a candle holder I got from Bath and Body Works. It has little squirrels and owls, deer and fox. Um, I really loved it. I believe I got it on sale. I don't remember how much it was though. And next to it, I have these wax melts. I believe I got these at Aldi like last year or something like that. So I like to put these in my little um, wall outlets. And this candle right here is also from Aldi. I absolutely hate the smell, but the only reason why I'm keeping it is because I can stick her in there. And it is a fall themed candle. Next, I have this sign. Leaves are falling and my coffee is calling. Um, hello, super cute, love that. Hello pumpkin, I've had this for a long time. Hello fall, I've had this for a long time. I'm pretty sure I got both of these at Hobby Lobby. Right there in the back, that little scarecrow. He is so freaking cute, I got him at Hobby Lobby. Now that I'm looking at him, I wish I had gotten the girl scarecrow so they could be buddies. Um, maybe I'll have to look again this year. This tall one in the back, it says hello fall. I actually got that from Lowe's and if you don't know what Lowe's is, it is like a Home Depot. I absolutely love this one. I love the colors. It has that like farmhouse look. I also forgot to show you all my flowers. Um, I found these at HEB the other day and I just think they're so beautiful. They are orange and like a burnt orange. I love them. So those are obviously on my dining table. All right, and then these two I got from Hobby Lobby. They light up, which I love. This is also from Lowe's. This, like those two were in the same exact section. This says, give thanks, love it. Um, these, I'm not sure, probably from Hobby Lobby. They're just like those cheap, like styrofoam pumpkins. This one right here I got from Aldi. It's actually a candle, you guys, which is super cute. Again, I don't like this one because I don't like the smell, but I like it as decor, so I've saved it. Um, this one back here I got from Home Goods probably two years ago. It also lights up. I believe it needs new batteries, but I do really like it. These two you saw in my uh, Aldi haul the other day. So these are two new pumpkins that I'm excited I added to my collection here. Uh, and then this is something that Jackson painted. When did he paint this? He was two years old. He painted this in 2018. So um, he painted that. Jackson also did this when he was five. So those were Jackson's. This is also Jackson's. He painted this when he was two. This is Nolan's. He painted that when he was two. Any little craft they do, as long as like it looks semi-cute, I keep it just, you know, for memories and I like to put them out as decor. And then over here I have these uh, Fall Sweet Fall coffee cups. They don't have to be coffee cups, but that's what we use them for. They are the reusable coffee cups. It comes in two. I actually found these at Dollar General, you guys. Um, so yeah, love those. And then I got this in the Target dollar spot or like the $5 spot. I fell in love with it. They also had a green color and I think the bottom was like a terracotta. Now I'm wishing I had gotten that one too. Um, but I figured this one, since my house is like farmhousey, um, I can use that 
all year round. I don't have to, you know what I mean? Like I can fill it with different florals. I can use it for fake flowers and for real flowers. But for right now, I'm gonna use it for fake flowers. All right, this is a table runner I got. Uh, I think I got this from Amazon, you guys. This is also from Amazon. Um, it is a throw blanket that I put on my blanket ladder. Um, this is just a decorative one. We don't use this, you know, we don't use this to cuddle or anything. Uh, it's just for looks. This one I got at Aldi last year. And as you can see, it has the trucks. Uh, I fell in love with it, so I had to get it. And this one we do use. It also goes on my blanket ladder. So, you guys, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and start decorating. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, y'all. Starting off strong here in the kitchen. I'm climbing up on my counters. And I'm going to start decorating this window. I really like using leaf garlands. I wish I had more of them. Maybe next year I'll make it a point to buy more. I feel like I just really like the look of them and you can just place them throughout the house and it looks really nice. So pretty much what I'm doing is just fixing the leaves the way that I want them and getting it in to the position that I like and the way that I feel like looks best. Once I finally get this the way that I like, I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating the windowsill. So along with that coffee sign, I'm gonna be adding this white picture with the fall foliage. I just think it looks really cute together and it makes my coffee station feel complete. Now on to the living room. Here I am decorating our TV stand with another leaf garland. This is the last one that I have, but I really like this one because it has glittery leaves. And then I went ahead and decided to add that three-tiered pumpkin I have, which lights up by the way. I just need to put new batteries and I also am adding that red pickup truck that I love so much and also a little hello fall sign to tie it all together. Here I am now switching out the blankets on my blanket ladder. The ones I'm taking off, we don't use. Those are strictly for decor as well as this one that I'm putting up first. Again, I did get this one off of Amazon and I really like the look of it. This other one with the blue pickup trucks is from Aldi and I love it so much and here I am showing you guys how cute it is. Okay, so the next thing I'm decorating is this wooden shelf above my living room windows. 
I'm gonna be adding that grateful wreath and a couple other things on top. But you're gonna see me struggle, y'all, and let me just say that this was extremely tiring. Next time, I will be asking for my husband's help straight off the bat because I'm short and it was hard for me to reach the shelf, especially with standing on the couch. So, hope y'all enjoy this clip of me struggling. I literally am having the hardest time reaching up here. Um, so I have a vision in my head. I don't know if it's going to actually look like I think, but I'm gonna have to get my husband's help in a little while. So for now, it's just gonna have to stay like that. Whew, I am out of breath and sweating from that. By the way, this shelf up here, my dad built that for us a few years ago. And I absolutely love it. It is one of my favorite things. The only downside is that I can barely reach it because I have to step on the couch, obviously. So because of that, I usually try and keep decorations up there that I know I wanna stay up there. Um, but of course on holidays and stuff, I like to decorate it. It just gets a little bit hard is all. Um, so I'll get his help and hopefully It'll all come together and then I can show you guys at the end. Now for my entryway table, I'm not really sure the look I'm going for yet, but I'm just moving some pieces around to see what I like. Those light up pumpkins are so cute, but I struggle to put them in places because at night, the lights are extremely bright so they tend to hurt my eyes. But I really do like that rustic hello fall sign that I got from Lowe's. We've made it to the front door, so I'm gonna go ahead and exchange the floor mats and also rearrange my plants a bit. So now we're in my boys' bathroom, which is also the guest bathroom. I just broke that. Yes, yes, I know y'all. Trust me, next time I will use scissors. I've learned my lesson. But as you can see, I'm putting it in this little white vase. I think it looks really cute. Fun fact, I got this white vase at a garage sale. And next, I just moved on to this white shelf above my toilet. Um, just adding a few little decor pieces to give everything the fall vibes. y'all so the next thing I'm decorating is our dining table I'm gonna be using that table runner from Amazon that I love so much and I decided since I have the flowers the flowers are gonna go in the middle and with that cute little white pumpkin candle 
I kept looking at it and I felt like it was missing something. So I went and took a look around in my house and I found this wooden charger plate. I guess technically it's for plates, but I put it in the middle of the table and put the things on top of it and I feel like it just really looked cute and tied everything together. Alright y'all, so this is round two of decorating this wooden shelf. I did not want to give up and I also was impatient to wait for my husband. So what I decided to do was stack some pillows on top of each other and stand on them, which actually helped. So now I know I can do that in the future. But as you can see, I was just moving things around to get them in the position that I wanted. And I decided to add that white pumpkin that has Rodriguez on it on the side of my grateful wreath and I also added some candles that I still need to change the batteries and they can go off anytime I want. The last thing I will be doing is fixing this letter board. I got this from Aldi about a year ago and I really like it but it can be tedious so I tend to not change it out as often as I should. So I'm just going to add a little false saying on here and I am finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. At the end I'm going to be doing a final walkthrough of the house. So that is gonna conclude today's vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed watching me decorate for fall. Uh, I did my very best, so be nice in the comments. Uh, I actually really love it. It makes the house feel really cozy and inviting. And at first I was like, I don't know, I need more, which I still think I need more, but I'm not gonna go to the store to get more, you know? If we're at a store and I happen to see something I love, I may pick it up. But thanks for watching. I hope y'all have a great weekend and we will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below so that we can chat and hit your notification bell so that you're notified every time I post new videos and we will see you in the next one.
Bye. Bye.